Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. Now, you can also come up with an equation like this. Just start with two numbers, like 12 and 18, or you can use different numbers and come up with an equation. But for this particular one, I wasn't expecting a good result, but it just turns out that we can find 3 to the power a over b from here. Anyways, let's get started. We have 12 to the power a, a plus b equals 18 to the power 2a minus b. And we're going to evaluate 3 to the power a over b. I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the second one this time. Here's my second method. For my second method, I'm going to use exponents. So let's go ahead and write the 12 as 2 to the second power times 3. And then I'm going to raise it to the power a plus b. And for 18, I'm going to write 2 times 3 squared. Now let's go ahead and distribute the powers. So 2 to the second will be raised to the power a plus b. So the exponents are going to be multiplied. So that's going to become 2 to the power 2a plus 2b. 2 distributed over a plus b times 3 to the power a plus b. On the right hand side, we have 2 to the first. So it's just going to be multiplied by 2a minus b, which is 2 to the power 2a minus b times 3 to the power, just distribute the 2 over, you're going to get 4a minus 2b. Great. Now we got powers of 2 and 3 on both sides. Let's go ahead and put them on the same side by way of division. So let's go ahead and divide by this and divide by that. So it's going to look like this. 2 to the power 2a plus 2b divided by 2 to the power 2a minus b equals 3 to the power 4a minus 2b divided by 3 to the power a plus b. So now we have powers of 2 on one side and 2 powers of 3 on the other. When you divide two powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So let's go ahead and subtract 2a minus b from 2a plus 2b. But the 2a cancels out, so we end up with 2 to the power 3b on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, if you subtract a plus b from this, you get 3 to the power 3a minus 3b. All right, so far so good, hopefully. From here, we can write this as a quotient because the exponents are being subtracted, right? So let's go ahead and write it as 3 to the power 3a divided by 3 to the power 3b. Now this equals that, and let's see what that means. By way of cross multiplication, I can actually go ahead and re let me rewrite it. So copy that here. Now we can go ahead and cross multiply here. That's going to give us 6 to the power 3b because they have the same exponent. So that's what's really good about it. We can multiply the bases, right? Remember, the, uh, the rule goes like this. You have a to the power x times b to the power x. And you can just multiply the a times b and then raise the product to the power x. That's what we used. All right. So that equals 3 to the power 3a. And remember what we're trying to solve for, right? Our goal is to get 3 to the power a over b. Don't remember, uh, don't forget that. And we can get it from here. But one thing that we can always do is simplify the exponents. Especially when it's a 3, we don't have that square thing. So we don't have the absolute value. We don't have that issue. We can easily cube root both sides. Cube rooting both sides is equivalent to raising both sides to the power of 1 third. So let's go ahead and do that. If you raise both sides to the power of 1 third, the 3 and the 1 third is going to cancel out. And you're going to end up with something simpler. Let's go ahead and write, uh, write it down. But this time, let's write 3 to the power a on the left-hand side. So let's, let's write what's on the right-hand side on the left-hand side and what's on the left-hand side on the right-hand side. So we're going to write it as 3 to the power a equals 6 to the power b. So far, so good, hopefully. And again, what are we looking for? We're looking for 3 to the power a over b. Can I find it from here? Exactly. How? Just raise both sides to the power 1 over b. And that'll do the trick. So we have 3 to the power a, raise it to the power 1 over b. We have 6 to the power b, raise it to the power 1 over b, and you're done. Make sense? b cancels out. A lot of things cancel out, which is cool. Now you're going to multiply the exponents. a times 1 over b, one of the 
things we learn, right, about fractions is A over B. Don't put a 1 underneath. It's too simple, right? I mean, you already know this. So this becomes 3 to the power A over B. And on the right-hand side, you end up with 6 to the power 1, which is 6. Therefore, the answer is 6. We were looking for 3 to the power A over B, and we found it. Make sense? Hopefully. Now let's go ahead and talk about the first method because we started with the second method. So for my first method, I'm going to use something else. But let me rewrite the original problem. The original one is 12 to the power a plus b equals 18 to the power 2a minus b. And our goal is to find 3 to the power a over b. Always remember that. Now, our second not second, but the second one we do, the first method is going to use logs. I, I hope you're familiar with logarithms. If not, go ahead and watch some of these videos about logarithms. So we're going to be logging both sides. And the choice is yours, actually. You can choose any base. Some people are going to go with 2 or 3 or 12. doesn't matter. I just like base 10 because we use a decimal system, so I'm familiar, right? Hopefully you're familiar, too. So I'm just going to log, and L-O-G means I'm using base 10, and base 10, you don't need to write it. So we log both sides with base 10, and we get the following. And then logs have interesting properties, especially the power property is really cool because you can move this to the front. That's what's really cool about it because when you have an expression like x to the power x equals something, you log both sides, then the exponent moves down, giving you a product instead of a variable to another variable. Make sense? So it makes things better. Now, this becomes a plus b times log 12 equals 2a minus b times log 18. This is going to turn out real nice at the end. You're going to notice. Um, anyways, let's just continue. We have this equation, and this might seem a little confusing, but here is what we're going to do. We're going to distribute and then put the a's on one side and b's on the other side. Why? Because we're looking for 3 to the power a over b, so it makes sense if we separate a's and b's. So, a log 12 plus b log 12, just distribute a property, 2a log 18 minus b log 18. So, which side would be better? I, I like to keep, keep things positive, so I'm going to go ahead and move this to the left and move this to the right. And that's going to give me the following. b log 12 is going to stay, so let's start with that. And then just add b log 18. And then 2a log 18 is going to stay. Just subtract, because this is a positive here, we have to change, minus a log 12. Now we have b's and a's separated, so we can go ahead and factor out b like this. And a like this. Don't take the 2 out, because we don't. Uh, it's not a common factor. Keep the 2 inside. Now, we are trying to find 3 to the power a over b. So does that make sense to find a over b, you think? Of course. If we know what a over b is, then we can just do 3 to the power of that. So how do you find a over b from here? Easy, arithmetic, or algebra, whatever you want to call it, right? Division. So if you go ahead and divide both sides by something so that you can get a over b, right? So we can do the following. We can just divide both sides by b times... Okay, I, I don't think we need to go into the depth on this one. It's easy. Here's what we're going to do. Put this on the other side. Oops, I, I meant to make a curve, but looks like uh, if you hold it and notability is just going to make it, you know, uh, a straight line. Anyway, so we're going to move like this. So we're going to get the following, log 12 plus log 18. That's going to stay on the left-hand side. And we're going to divide it by 2 log 18 minus log 12. And now we're going to bring the b over to the right, and that's going to become a over b. And remember, we're, we are looking for 3 to the power a over b. So this is a over b, but before we do 3 to the power that, let's simplify this expression here. Look, you don't want to uh, do 3 to the power that messy thing, right? How do you simplify it? Here's what you can do. First of all, this is a sum of logs, so that is going to be a log of product. And the bottom one is just log 18 squared right, because this 2 can be moved as a power, minus means you're going to divide by that, so we can just kind of write it like this. Okay, I messed up on that one. It's supposed to be the log 
of a quotient, right? So like this. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, we can break it down here. We can first write it as log 18 squared minus log 12, and then write this as log 18 squared divided by 12, because log x minus log y is the same as log x over y. Make sense? How does that help? Here's what you can do. 12 times 18 is going to be what? 216. How do you divide 18 squared by 12? If you know that it's 324 and divide by 12, it's 27. You may not know that. That's okay. But here's what I thought about. 18 times 18 divided by 12 can be written as, I thought about this like 12. 18 is 12 times 1.5. And then this is another 18, 12. 12 cancels out. And what is 1? 18 times 1.5, 27. There's a lot of ways to go about it, but you can pick one. This is A over B. And what am I going to do with it? I'm going to simplify because 216 is 6 cubed. Awesome. And 27 is 3 cubed. The cubes move to the front. You see a lot of movement. And then we end up with log 3 log 6 over 3 log 3. But the 3 cancels out. We end up with log 6 over log 3. So A over B is log 6 over log 3. That doesn't mean A is log 6. We're going to find 3 to the power A over B. And that is equal to 3 to the power of that. But change of base, use it backwards. This can be written as log 6 with base 3, right? Remember that formula? It's very helpful here. And now you write it like this, and this becomes 6, this number right here. Why? Because you properties of logs. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.